Hello, Shares. Is that how to say your name? I hope I've said your name correctly. Thank you for joining. And here comes in today. Hello. Come Hello. On. Good evening. Hi. Hi, NJ. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. That's interesting. It brought you straight up to the to the yeah. stage. So I yeah. think maybe I'm the one who's getting stuff wrong. Hello. Good evening, everyone who's joining us. Good evening. NJ. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Hi. Yes, we're joining. Please, when you do come in, tell us where you're logging in from. Please, welcome, yes, yes, welcome, yes. welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. Like Hello, Comforting from Canada. How are you? How's Canada? Wow, all the way. Hello, Shares from London, UK. Yes, for me. Yes, that's where we are. Welcome. Hello, <laughs> I love these interesting names. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to, hello to all of you. Thank you for joining as we wait for other people to join. Please, like my co-host NJ has just mentioned, let us know where you're joining in from. NJ, how's your day been? My day has been busy. Oh, 12 p.m. in the after, sorry. Comforting moves, 12 p.m. Oh, wow. wow. This is about, it's about 8.30 here in London. London. Yeah. yeah. My day has been mad busy. But Hello, I Matt. Hello, God. Matt. <laughs> I know Matt. Matt's, Matt's a member of SALT. <laughs> I'm oh. sure that's Matt. Yes. <laughs> hello, Ellie. Hello, John. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining another Say it loud event. Um, let's see how many more people we have in the house. Save us sort of like repeating ourselves. Thank you so much for joining. For those of you who have been here since we started, uh, thank you and welcome back. For those of you yeah. joining us for the very first time, welcome to this wonderful table platform called Say It Loud. You're probably wondering, why say it loud? Do they come here to scream? No, 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 no. That's not what we come here to do. The reason um, it's called say it loud is because I just feel like, you know, as mature Christians, we sometimes have things we want to talk about, but sometimes maybe we're too shy to talk about them, or we feel like if we talk about them, we'll be judged, or we feel like if we talk about them, nobody will listen to us, but no, 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 when you come here, you're allowed to just air your views, um, people would listen to you, and here we respect each and everyone's views, we don't come here to condemn or judge anybody, so please feel free to share your views on today's topic, and any other topic on this platform when you come in. So uh, we have quite a few people I can see, NJ. Um, yeah. Can you read out some countries, you know, yes. that we have in oh, the yeah. chat room? Having a bit of a chat in the chat box. So we have Philippines. Hey, Ruth from Philippines coming in. I am, I am, let's see, confession, hands up. I'm crap with flags. And it's like, <laughs> what flag is that? I am so sorry. This is me showing up, showing myself now. Um, we've got Matt from Leeds. Hey, hello, Matt. I used to live in Leeds years and years ago. I was actually course. born in Leeds. Oh, wow. See, yes. it's more world. <laughs> we've got Devon back again. Hey, Devon. Devon shared a story, a joke last time. Have you got a joke for us tonight? That De kind of opened the chat room last week <laughs> with a joke. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Lizzie. I think Lizzie's returned. Hey, Lizzie, how are you? Lots and lots. Yes, thank you, everyone. Wakanda. All right, Devon. Thank you, Donna from UK. Thank you from Georgia. Is that Georgia, USA? Thank you from Toronto, Canada, Trudy. Welcome, Peter. Welcome, Trudy. Welcome, the welcome, welcome. You're going to mention all Emma. the names tonight. <laughs> Emma is from Australia. Wow. Welcome from Australia. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ada. Like it's called Ada. My sister's called Ada. I think that's how it's pronounced. It might be Ada or Ada. Hello, yeah. Zara from Netherlands. Yes, we've got, yeah, very well represented across the continents tonight. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. awesome. 
Awesome. And I can see four hands up already. And we, oh, wow. we haven't even started. <laughs> okay, guys, don't disappear. Don't disappear. Devon, how come Devon's showing twice on my screen? Or am I seeing things? <laughs> anyway, okay. So um, I can see we have quite a few people in the room. Thank you so much. And welcome to Say It Loud. Thank you for those of you joining for the first time. I'll just introduce myself. My name is Shola Abraham. I'm single. I love all aspects of creativity. But most of, most of all, I love bringing people together um, to just fellowship, you know, just uh, have a good time. I love organizing events and I'm a very, very strong believer and I love exercising my crazy faith as well. Are you probably wondering crazy faith? Yes. You know, the Bible says all things are possible. And for me, I just believe that if I'm created in the image of God and in his like, likeness, that anything i want to achieve i can do it <laughs> yes 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 i'm putting it out there but anyway welcome okay so this is say it loud we come on here every wednesday at 8 30 p.m british standard time i hope you all can hear me um nj can you hear me loud and clear Yes, I can. Okay, yes. We come on here 8.30 p.m. British Standard Time every Wednesday. We come with different topics and we love to hear from you as well. If you have topics you'd like us to share, please put them in the chat box. So some house rules. Please, let's be mindful of other people's opinions and views. Let's be respectful as well. If you want to speak, please raise your hands and we'll bring you up to the stage. But please also be mindful that the There'll be lots of people who want to speak as well. So when you come on stage, please don't hug the mic. You know, just be mindful that other people want to speak as well because we only come on here for about an hour and a bit. So we want to try and get as many people on stage as well to speak. And also, if for any reason we have any unruly behavior going on in the chat, please, you see that little hammer? I mean, I, I, I can see a hammer because I'm, yeah, I'm using a... Um, a laptop, you know, please report that and we will make sure we deal with the situation. Um, so we, we, we have a nice clean atmosphere where we can just be comfortable with each other. So report any unruly behavior in the chat room. Also, please feedback. We love to hear from you. Don't wait till when we finish, start giving your feedback even whilst the, the, the event is going on. Okay, NJ, do you wanna introduce yourself very quickly and then we can dive straight into tonight's um, topic. Yes. So my name is NJ. NJ Davis. She likes to call me NJ. Real NJ, and I love it when she calls me that. So <laughs> I'm NJ. I am also based in London, United Kingdom. I'm a business analyst by day, but I do other things as well. I journal. I am an avid people watcher. I watch people. <laughs> and from that, I come up with stories that I write about. I, I write stories. I'm passionate about Jesus Christ. Everything about the Lord just excites me. Um, yes, there's more to share, but that's enough for now. And I'm just so excited tonight to be here. This is such a beautiful topic. So, yes, looking forward to sharing Yes, awesome. with everyone else. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Injide. So uh, tonight's topic is hmm, real talk. Am um, I my expectations? And you're probably thinking, hmm, this one's a bit deep, but we're going to try and make it as fun as possible. But you know, um, this topic I know would require some introspection and probably, you know, require you to be a bit vulnerable. And please don't feel you have to share what you don't want to share. Only feel comfortable sharing what you feel you want to share. But I just believe that we come on here to share, learn and encourage each other in our single journey. So on this note, I'll just basically, I'll just read a scripture that came to mind um, this morning. It just says, do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind mind you know and i use the word you know introspective you know this topic you know i'm just going to just share very quickly so you know we, we you know most of us here are probably single you know we're thinking i want to meet somebody i want to meet i want him to be like this i'm obviously i'm a woman i want him to be this and i want him to be that i want him to have this and i want you know and then i started thinking to myself you know what's all this i want i want i want i want i want you know or this person should have this or have that. What about me? Do I have all of these qualities I'm looking for in a life partner? I had to start looking inward and I had to start saying to God, I had to start addressing certain areas of my life. 
and bringing them before the Lord to say, Lord, you know what? I can't take this into a relationship because if I do, this is what's going to happen, you know, and I can't expect this from somebody else if I don't even have this, you know, and I've got another scripture, but we'll come to that later on. Injide, I don't know if you want to share very quickly um, what your views are on this topic, and then we'll just open the floor to this wonderful people to share with us tonight because, like I said, we come here to learn, we come here to share, most of all, we come here to encourage each other as single people, hoping and trusting in God that we will meet that, you know, significant order one day. Yeah, so this topic is deep, <laughs> like like my young people will say, and it, and it, like you already said, it requires some introspection. So when we, when I was thinking about it and praying about it, it it really made me question myself. And a scripture that came to mind as I was thinking about it was, you know, Galatians 5, 22 to 23, mm-hmm. the fruit of the spirit. That was mm-hmm. what came to mind. And as believers, if the love of God undergirds everything that we do for me, then I reference back to the fruit of the spirit. Do I have, am I, um, I'm just going to read it from the passion basically. It says, but the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. Hmm. So I had to, you know, I had to now turn this back on myself. So do I have joy that overflows? Do I have the peace that subdues? Am I patient? right all the time and my kind in my actions all the time um it's my life full of virtue do i have the faith that prevails because these are the things that i will be looking for in a partner so am i these things do i exhibit it do i manifest these things just like this i, I was thinking about it this afternoon this is really funny i'm going to share this briefly this is me now uh what's the one about confessing your sins right so yeah to one another <laughs> at lunchtime um a lady come, comes up to she comes up to me all the time whenever she sees me and she's talking about her son because her son and my son went to the same primary school and it's the same conversation over and over again and i kind of find myself getting quite impatient with them like, we've already gone through this so many times i've told you what my son is doing you told me what your son is doing and then i came back to think about tonight's topic was i being patient was i being loving you know what i mean because these are things i would expect from a partner so do i exhibit these things and the cre- and the answer is no i don't most of the time so really when i look at myself i am not my expectation so if i am not i have a lot of work to do within me before i can confidently expect a partner to do you know what i mean to live up to a certain expectation that and all of us have expectation maybe it's about i don't know maybe someone that's i don't know tall dark and handsome or from <laughs> different from a particular country a particular locality educated to a certain level or whatever it is are we our expectations do we meet those criteria as well and that's yeah. a really tough one isn't it for us to to do that work within ourselves yeah so great yes. So, um, the floor's open. Whoever wants to come up, please do um, do raise your hand. Um, let's talk about this, you know. Am I my expectations? I saw so many hands going up earlier on. The hands have all gone down now. I have a feeling everyone's probably gone back into themselves and, ooh, this is a deep one. What can I share? Dan, thank you so much. I love it when people are bold enough to just come up and share. Thank you, Dan. Let's hear from you, Dan. If you unmute yourself uh, and then you can share. Is that working? It is working loud and clear. Brilliant. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I don't want to hog the time so much, but like no one else has got their hands up. So I'm That's in there. Um, so I was actually um, talking to someone on, on Salt today and uh, saying how like, oh, yeah, I'm a great evangelist and I do that a lot. And then I was like, no, hang on a minute. I just lied to you. I don't do very, very much evangelism. In fact, I should do a lot more. God's given me the gift. I don't do it very much. So there, there's my uh, my confession mm. and uh, answer to topic and one. You know, Dan, just like you, I used to go out on the streets and evangelize a lot before I don't do that anymore. So I'm glad you shared this. I'm actually going to put that down in my book and say, girl, 
you need to do a bit more of that. Well, not a bit more. You need to start doing more of what you used to do before. So thank you so much for sharing. You go, go. You go, go. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Um, and is there anybody else? Come on, people. I saw all the hands going up. Dan, can you call some people up on stage if you can see the <laughs> name? <laughs> the first person to come up. I'm giving you the mic. Call them up. Call them up. You're all, you're all awesome and you can overcome. You can overcome any nerves or anything. Nice you can do one. this. Nice one. You got See, this. We- yeah, we, we don't just like people to come here to listen. Don't, don't get me wrong. We want you to listen, but we also want to hear from you. Because like I said, it's all about learning, sharing, and encouraging each other. Okay, so whilst you guys are taking your time to make up your minds to come up, because I know you guys really have stuff to share, I'll just share with you, and I'm just going to be very vulnerable here. I used to be somebody who used to be hypersensitive, hypersensitive the smallest of things would get me thinking in all kinds of directions you know and honestly imagine that in a relationship just imagine that in a relationship you know I had to take this before God I had to say God you need to sort this out you need to sort so imagine if I me being hypersensitive and then I meet somebody and I'm thinking no he must be this he must be very confident he must that would just be so wrong it would be so 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 wrong you know so what I don't have within me I shouldn't expect from somebody else so um okay I can see another hand going up I'm so excited now I'm gonna stop talking im im I don't know Emmeline I love that name I've never heard that one before Emmeline uh here you go what's going on um Hold on. NJ, I think I may need to make you, I may need to log out and come back on. Something's not quite working for me. But if I disappear, guys, I'm still here. I'll come back on. Um, Go ahead, Emmeline. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes, can. We yes. Hi. Sorry, I'm in my car. Um, So I just got done, like, hiking. <laughs> I, the, I was doing, um like, the devotional on the Bible app, and it was about how we renew our minds. Um, and like, don't conform to the world, don't be friends with the world. And I find out in my dating experience that I get into the habit of like, oh, this guy is cute, but he's not Christian, so I swipe anyway. And I kind of think like, oh, just because they don't say they're Christian on their profile, then maybe it doesn't mean something, you know? But then, really, like, I want to marry someone who's going to lead me and like lead my household like towards Christ. And so I realize, like, I don't know, when it comes to dating apps, am I really the type of person? that I'm looking for and a lot of the times no because like I struggle to like read my bible every day and like sometimes I don't prioritize God and I just I don't know I love this topic and I love that like I don't know even today it's just been like such a good day it's been eye-opening and I don't do these table talks very often this is only the second one I've done and I'm just like man I want to do these more they're really I love the community and like how it brings us all together (laughs) Awesome, awesome, awesome. Emmeline, I I hope I'm saying your name correctly. You know, I actually wrote something down, you know, whilst I was preparing for this evening and you mentioned it, you know, so I put down here, I said, we live in a time where people are swiping without even looking deeper. You know, so you get on these dating apps, you know, swipe left, swipe, swipe, swipe. You're not even, you know, so sometimes is it based on, oh, I don't like the way they look, you know, I don't like this, I don't like that, you know, without even looking deeper, you know. So what are these expectations? We're expecting all of these things, but are we the things we are expecting from other people as well? Um, I see I've got Carla on the stage. Carla, do you want to share your views on the topic? Hi. Hello. Can, Hello. Can you, oh, hi. Um, yeah. So this is a bit of a strange one because I've been really, I've been really challenged about this over the last uh, forty eight hours. I just came back from a holiday with some friends. Well, a friend and her baby girl, and I found myself feeling, inv- um, noticing that I was quite um, selfish in spirit. So even though I was very generous with my actions and what I did, I realized that I was a lot of things that was happening because when you're traveling with an 18 month old, they take control of everything. And I felt myself going, oh, it's about me. Why am I kind of like concerned more about what I haven't got or what I need or whatever? And I was just like, that's not a spirit that you want to take into any relationship. And actually, I think there's probably I don't know if it's just me or maybe others can identify with this, but you can be generous in your actions and be giving and think that you're serving the Lord but you're serving him outwardly but actually internally there's still like a 
a very selfish element and I suddenly realized that if that's how I feel like I can't take that into something that could be long term because that could be quite like detrimental and obviously not Christ-centered in any way because it's very me-centered and yeah it's something that I it just kind of literally was journaling about it this morning it was just like yeah I, it felt very like I needed to say that out loud Shala, are you there? I'm not sure. I'm here. Can I you am... hear me? Oh, yeah. That's it. No, sorry. I went off there for a minute, um, but I didn't hear. I didn't hear the whole conversation. So I said, NJ, do you want to actually respond to that? Yeah. Um. I. I kind of. I, it resonates with me because she's. She. I don't know if you. I don't know where you stopped listening. But it was about going on holiday with an 18 month old, and we all have those expectations like we're on holiday you're on holiday you're going there for relaxation or whatever you know um and then you have an 18 month old and of course they, they don't know they don't have boundaries they want to kind of take over everything and as for me i think it's a case of is is a question of balance having recognizing that yeah 18 months old they don't know what they're doing they don't have the same mindfulness that we have but also I am here for a holiday. So it's kind of created a balance, I think, and not feeling so oh, I didn't quite, you know, meet up to my expectation or whatever. Um, yeah. I, I think, I mean, there's the balance and you can, I totally, and yeah, I agree with that. And I, I totally got that. And of course yeah. they need what they need, yeah. but it was more the case of, oh, but I want this and I want them. And actually, I think I mentioned this in a, in a table before, I, I can't remember if it was this one or not, that like, one thing I learned from a, a sermon was that relationships are meant to be, you, you've got to think about how you can be a blessing in that relationship rather than what blessings you can get out of it. And so having that, like being very aware of that selfish thought kind of made me think that's not something that could bless anybody. Like how do I, how do I, how can I ask God to help me kind of flip that so that I can, that the generous spirit that's outward is actually internal as well. Mm-hmm. That I'm like, a happy giver and a happy generous giver rather than like a you know I'm doing this but is it out of duty so I think that's where I kind of realize that as like am I my expectations I'm I'm not because I realize that there is that element that needs to be worked on in me and I'm sure that I'm I'm hoping I'm not alone in that no trust me Carla as you were talking I was nodding I was nodding away because I just before we came on, I said to NJ, I said, you know, um, and if we have to be true to ourselves, a lot of single people, especially if you've been single for a long, long time, we're set in our ways. We're used to doing things our own ways. We're used to having things done the way we want it, the time we want it and stuff like that. So everything is all about me, 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 me. And if we're not careful, we could actually take that sort of attitude into, you know, like dating and stuff like that. So it's like, oh, this is how I want it. This is what I expect. I, I expect it to be done this way. I expect it to be done my way if we're not careful. I mean, I don't know what other people are thinking, you know, but I, I've had conversations with people, single friends and stuff like that. And I just find that, you know, I, I had to stop myself. And sometimes I've had to say to some friends like, OK, you're saying you want someone who has a car. I'm just using this as an example. Mm. You, you know, I expect him to have a car. If we're going to go on a date, you know, I wouldn't want to get on the bus or the train with him. And I had to look at certain people and say, but hang on, the last time I checked, I don't remember you even having a, a bicycle. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm being too harsh, you know, but that's, that's it. So I'm just using that as an example. But you can imagine the more complicated things like, oh, I want someone who's gentle and kind and someone, you mm-hmm. know, and then you are not any of these things, you mm-hmm. know, and I just thought, If we are seriously looking to date and meet the right people, we need to start working on ourselves. I'm not here to preach at anybody. I'm preaching to the choir as well myself. So um, these are just my thoughts. I want to hear from you guys. Come on, people. Yes, M. M has got his hands up. Let's bring M on the stage. And thank you to Dan, Emmeline, and Carla. I'll leave you guys up there. Maybe you guys will be our speakers for tonight. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Because yeah. that's a question. So oh, yeah, yeah. I- Please read the chat room. Let's not forget. Angel, yeah. quickly, just before you go, I just quickly forgot myself. For anyone who's joined the conversation, welcome <laughs> to Say It Loud. I completely forgot <laughs> myself. Welcome to Say It Loud. We come on here every Wednesday, uh, Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. We're happy to have you here. Please join the conversation. 
conversation. I'm sure it's been pinned up. Can you see the conversation pinned uh, up there, NJ? Is it pinned yeah, up it's, there? It's, it's fantastic. Okay, great. So please join the conversation. Go, go ahead, NJ. Should I go ahead? I yes, just love where this the, the, this conversation is going tonight. It's just totally unplanned. Suddenly we've got a panel. Excellent. They can answer their questions. Oh, praise the Lord. So Lizzie asked a question in this chat box. And she, oh my gosh, where is it? I had it up. So Lizzie is asking a question. She's asking, should you compromise on your expectations? I thought that's mm. important. Mm, I got me thinking of it, didn't it? So, yeah. Um, should we ask M? M, M just con come on the stage. M, do you want to? Give us share your views and then also if you have anything to add to Lizzie's question or anybody else on the stage, Dan, Emmeline, or Carla, but we'll go with M first. Thank you so very much and good afternoon to or good evening to y'all. It's good afternoon over here by me. Um, you know, I thought to myself a lot of the, the virtues that people are looking at or things that we like, the superficial stuff, what does it have to do with the person themselves? There's too many good people that are working at Dairy Queen or McDonald's or pushing a broom that are being overlooked because they're not making six figures. Mm. You know, we're thankful to God for, for, for the, the total package, but I'm very scared when we start saying that this person's a 10 or this person's a seven or this person's an eight. Mm. Are we not treating people like animals and we're, we're not valuing them based on the things of, of, uh, that are superficial? You know, they, they're the total package. Mm. That's scary to think that we're looking at that. And it takes me in the same mindset of, um, of uh, Nazism, where they started looking at people saying, uh, valuing human beings, and also um, eugenics, when they started saying, I want to make a particular human being that has all these characters, let's qual these qualities, these characteristics, from intelligence to beauty to strength, and all these other things going on, even musical talents, they believe are, is a genetic as well, too. But, um, you know, all these different things, and we'll discard all the other human beings who don't have this particular talent, those that are the less popular ones. Here in, I'll say very quickly, here in America, eugenics was very popular. And so much so that they even had fairs in, in America where they had um, prizes for the best bred family. So people were looking for marriage partners that had once, uh, I guess, quote unquote, the total package, you know, whatever that is. And so yeah. I'm very scared when I hear people say, this person's a 10, this person's a this, that, the other. Or when they look at another human being and say, that person's a dog who's doing a zero or they're a one. Wow. Wow. You know, I was nodding my head awake and I'm looking at the notes on my screen, you know, God certainly orders our steps, you know, so M, I don't know what your full name is, you know, what you have just said there is what I wrote in my notes, superficial things are beginning to take priority over the things that really matter in today's world. And then for us Christians, especially, should we not be looking away from all of these things, you know, I want him to be a 10, I want him to be a seven, the way M has, you know, put it, you know, I want him to end six figures, 10 figures. And don't get me wrong, if that's what you want, that's what you want. But is that really what we should be looking at? So thank you so much for sharing, M. I'm just going to leave you on the stage. And um, uh, so Devon, Devon is back. Let's put Devon on the stage. I'm going to leave all the speakers on the stage. If you guys just want to mute your mics, please, just so we don't have any interference, that would help. Go on, Devon. Devon, you've got the mic. Okay, NJ, do you want to read some comments whilst Devon's you sutting himself out? Oh, there he goes. He's, he's there now. <laughs> okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you're a bit faint, though. I don't know if it's my end. Oh, can you hey, hear me a... now? Yes. Just about, yeah. Oh, hey, Candid. Uh -oh. Hey, um, yeah, I just think it's important that, you know, like, you just share, like, a lot of the same values, you know, like, modesty. You know, you, you're going out to God, your secret place. Uh, you establish boundaries, communication, and connection. And you don't want to hurt the other partner. And you don't want to send mixed signals, you know. If you got to reject somebody, do it in love, you know, and don't, mm. don't make them feel insecure or inferior or incompetent, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all competent, really. And God loves us all. Um, but yeah, just make sure, you know, just practicing the biblical principles. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a, tr a traditional Christian, so, and that you're going after God, you know. Um, you know, James chapter one, I think it's one, one verse 27 is one of my favorite chapters. You know, it's, uh, it's clear and undefiled religion. Is this, you know, those that look after uh, orphans and widows in their distress and keeps them, and one that keeps themselves unspotted from the world. So that's big for me, you know. Mm. I, I really, I want a girl who's like very beautiful and like is going after God, but she's unspotted from the world. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to date a Barbie, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> 
Yeah, are you, are you, are you done, Devon? <laughs> but I really like that. I don't want to date a Barbie. You know, as you were speaking, I was just looking at my notes and I put down there Matthew 7, where it says, do not judge or you'll be judged for in the same measure, way you, you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you as well. And you're so right. You are so, so right. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. We've got some more hands coming up. NJ, do you want to read some uh, comments? Uh, okay. Before? Let's have yeah. a look at the chat box. They're, co they're having a conversation about bikes, actually. But about let's... bikes? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love the way people just go off <laughs> somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> it's a very interesting conversation about bikes. And I'm learning so much about bikes. But who's, the, who, who's the ringleader? Let's get, let's get that Michael, person up Get stage. Michael on panel. He's a ringleader in the conversation <laughs> about bikes. But, but um, em, Emmeline, I think, I think that's what, how she said her name is pronounced, Emmeline. Yeah. She's on Emma, stage. Yeah, she asks the question, is it okay to desire someone who makes the first move? Like, I think it is okay to drop hints or compliment a person that, but oftentimes I feel like I don't go on dates because I don't want to ask them out. Okay, but this is a question. Oh, gosh, how do I? I'm trying to process this one. So what about you? Would you would you be comfortable making the first move? So yeah. Well, you know, the, the topic is about are we our expectations. So okay, this is a completely different conversation. <laughs> yeah, no. Are yeah. we happy to make the first move? So, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, em Emmeline, I think, I think, um, I think in some ways, yeah, it could come under this topic. But if we start on this one, we'll probably go somewhere else yeah. with it, you know. So, um, Emmeline, I'm gonna make a note of this because it it is actually something that a lot of women struggle with. And I have, I'll be honest with you, I personally, I would struggle with it too. But I've I've been around a lot of people who have said there are ways you can go about it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. so if that's what God wants you to do. I don't know. Don't quote me. Uh, then do it. I, I, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that one. But I definitely, Injide, I think we should definitely bring this one back as a conversation, um, a topic, and we yeah. can hear from the guys as well. The guys would be the ones to actually answer this as well. Exactly. Um, yeah. Do you have any other comments before I bring Trudy and Theodore up and also just reset the room very quickly? Do you want to reset the room, NJ? Okay, now that's fine. There's no other comments as such in the chat box. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are joining us for the very first time, this is Say It Loud on the Salt app. We come on here every Wednesday, 8.30 uh, British time. It's just uh, a safe place for us mature Christians to have a conversation, right? To share, to engage, to share knowledge to inspire each other. It's a safe place for a healthy, vulnerable, open conversation, authentic conversation. Tonight's topic is, um, I, my expectations, right? So that's the conversation we're having on the table tonight. So welcome everyone. Great stuff. We've got Trudy on stage, and to the speakers who've uh, you know gone before. If you wanna, if you wanna go back as a speaker, um, sorry. If you wanna go back and listen, I'm happy to drop you um, back to uh, listeners. But if you wanna stay on stage, and if you wanna add to any of the questions or conversations, I'm happy for you guys to uh, just sort of like just say very quickly that you wanna speak. Maybe put it in the chat box, and then NJ can read it, and then we'll get you to answer. Uh, Trudy, you wanna share very quickly? Thank you. Yeah, hi. Good evening, Good evening ladies. Good evening, Judy. Um, I, I wanted to say two things. Um, first of all, Emmeline, I can understand what you were saying about, you know, looking at profiles and things like that. And if the person only ticks off the little box saying that they're a quote unquote Christian and there's nothing in their details that indicate that or that supports that little tick in the box. I've bypassed lots of uh, profiles because of that. And one of the reasons I've realized is that, you know, if a person is a believer, if their relationship, if their relationship with the Lord is more than just a little tick in the box, they're going to be, it, it's going to be loud and clear in their profile because they just love the Lord that much. If the Lord is a passing thought to them, they're not even going to bother. Or if it's just a formality because they believe they were born in a Christian family so that they're automatically a Christian, 
you know, like they're piggybacking or they were born in a certain religion or whatever the case may be. And they believe that because of that, you know, it entitles them to being called a Christian, right? They're not going to say anything more because it's not really important to them. I also wanted to say to Mike, to M, thank you very much for saying what you said about the fact that we throw people in a box and because we have all these little boxes and eugenics all over the place of judging people for what their self-worth is without even actually getting to the point of asking them that, I I find, and I and there's probably other people here who can share or identify in one way or the other that they've been judged because of, you know, things like, you know, their, their height, um, you know, like weight, you know, and, and people say, well, weight, you know, well, you should just go on a diet and lose weight. Well, when you really look into the science of weight, it's not that easy, especially if you're a woman and you have other medical conditions that contribute to that, weight loss can actually be hard and almost impossible. Mm. And what I find with my own personal experience is that, you know, I've talked to, to guys quite a few times and I've noticed that, you know, I mean, I've been on disability for 10 years. I worked before that for, you know, 15 years. Um, so I've worked most of my adult life and then, you know, an accident happened. I went on disability. Now I've been self-sufficient for the last, you know, I've been self-sufficient for, you know, my entire adult life since I've been mm -hmm. working. Yes, I have lived at home from time to time when things were tough, but now I'm in a really good place where I can afford to live, mm -hmm. relatively speaking. I still own my car that I bought, you know, 15 years ago. Um, you know, like, I'm self-sufficient in every way and shape and form. If I need mm -hmm. assistance, I have assistance available to me. Mm -hmm. And when I get someone that asks me, well, what do you do? right? I'm like, well, I'm on disability and I am at home, right? Yeah. And it's like, it, it's like the conversation stops on the other end. Yeah. You know, Trudy, I, I completely hear uh, where you're coming from. And sadly, you know, this is, you know, exactly as M said, you know, people just judge other people based on what, you know, their expectations are, you know, superficial things and stuff like that. However, I strongly believe that, you know, as believers, you know, there is somebody out there for everybody, you know, it's mm -hmm. just waiting for God to just, you know, bring them into your life at the right time don't give up, don't, you know, keep the faith, you know, continue to hope and pray. And that person definitely, you know, who God knows is right for you will come along. So thank you so much for sharing, um, you know, and I know you're regular on here. So thank you for coming <laughs> back again and again and again, you know, every Wednesday. I yeah, I really, really, um, really appreciate you. Can I just get, um, I think he was, uh, is it uh, Theodore? I'm try I wrote, wrote down the names just so I could go in a, a particular order, but please forgive me if I haven't. No, I think it's actually Michael. Michael, can I have you um, share your views on the, the topic, please? And please give feedback, people. Don't wait till the end. Hi. Go on, Michael. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Well, uh, it, it's an interesting question. I think uh, I have a, a personal testimony about how God has been dealing with me about this in some ways. So here's the thing. I think maybe like a month or two ago, I was at the prayer meeting and, you know, like people were ask, asking for prayer, like for different things, you know, and I was praying like, oh yeah, uh, people pray for me because I, I want to get closer to God. Okay. So they did. Right. And a few days later, something interesting happened. So like, I was just it was like on the weekend and then God showed me like this picture of like me approaching a fire. Okay. And what happened was that as I was approaching the fire, then like impurities were just like leaving my body, you know, mm. and it wasn't the most comfortable experience, you know, but there was still this desire to keep on approaching the fire. Right. And what happened after that was that God like, led me to forgive some people who didn't even know like they had offended me 
you know. And I was struggling, like, you no, know, like this person. I mean, if someone offends you, like you might let it go, but like, especially if it's something that happens over and over again, hmm. you know, and it would be like, okay, this person keeps on doing this, you know, but what the Lord was just saying was like, some of these people don't even know that they've offended you. Mm-hmm. you know? They don't even know that they've offended you. So, you know, I, I, I leaned on the Holy Spirit to help me to forgive genuinely, you know, like mm-hmm. not just, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I forgive, you know, because you still have those thoughts of like what has happened in the past over and over again, you know. Yeah. But I mean, like, praise God, like, it happened, you know, up to the point where today I could talk with those people without even mentioning anything like that. Like, they don't even know, you know. Hmm. So and what the Lord was just trying to put to me was like, it's the same thing. Like, when he forgave us, like, we didn't even know we were his enemies, you know. When we accepted Christ, like, we didn't even know that kind of thing. So, like, for me, in terms of, like, relationships now, I kind of have that uh, mindset going in that, like, there's no one perfect, right? Mm. There's no one perfect. And it's it's always going to be, like, a work of process of the Holy Spirit, like, you know, working on our character, you know. And the most important thing is, are we willing to be led by the Holy Spirit, like, yep. you know? So, and, and what I also understood by that by that vision was that, if you want to be close to God, then you will become more like God. Yeah. In the sense of like doing more things like the way he does them. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that, that was being, that has been a blessing for me. And I kind of approach, you know, people, you know, situations the same way. Like there are some things like you don't need to sweat it, you know, like you don't need to sweat it, like just let it go. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, you know, uh, your heart with us, uh, Michael, and your testimony as well. Um, Just listening to you talking about forgiving people who don't even know. (laughs) They don't even know that you're holding something in your heart, you know, against them. You know, I, 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 I take that and I... I, I believe that, you know, tonight there are a lot of people in, in the audience as well who probably, you know, may struggle with the same thing. Because on, honestly, sometimes people upset us to forgive can be so difficult, honestly. Mm-hmm. But if we lean on the Holy Spirit, like you have said, you know, then he, he just makes it easier for us to just let go and just lean on God and just let go of, you know, whatever it is. So thank you so much uh, mm-hmm. for sharing this with us. Um, NJ, do you want to read any comments uh, and then I can ask? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, all. Yeah. All right. So the two that kind of sticks out to me, Lisa says that she know people who have the call of God on their life, but end up falling for a guy. I thought that was quite. Hmm. Yeah, that's um, that's one to reflect on. So. so sorry, I didn't. I didn't quite get that. So people who have the call of God... who, have, who have a call of God on their life, right? Yes. But end up falling for a guy. So basically a distraction. Of, that's the way I read it. I think Lizzie can correct me yeah. if that's wrong. So yeah, they've gone a different way. Before I forget, Chim Noya would like to say something. I put them up on stage, but they seem to have gone. Okay. I, I yeah, I had like a little list going, but you know, I'm sure they'll come back. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, that's that's a shame. Something that. Ada, I'll call her and work what my sister Ada said. She said, yeah. not everyone likes pouring out their heart on mm-hmm. a dating social platform social platform profile. Mm. And I think it's good to not judge people solely on their profile. Yeah. Right. And that's quite important. But I kind of think in that if, if we're out here, you know, putting ourselves out there to by the grace of God, meet someone, we have to be in the present, if that makes sense. And not necessarily pour out yourself, but put out enough information because the person that might be looking at our profile do not know us. So only going by what they read or what they see on our profile. So we do have to um, make some effort towards meeting people. But people, M- Emma Line says, um, I have seen some those posts that question whether God is enough. 
if you find, I think this is so important, it says, if you find yourself more focused on finding someone than seeking him, maybe it's best to take a step back and mm. focus yourself on God. So basically everything starts with God, having that open conversation relationship with God. Yes, I think those are the two I'm just scrolling up. Yeah. I completely yeah. agree with that last comment you you mm. made, and uh, I'm just going to be vulnerable and just share here, you know, so um, before I even went on the salt dating app, which a friend of mine told me about a few years back, um, I was actually on Bumble, and, you know, you put there, you, you know, drill down, I only want Christians, but then you have all these other people coming agnostic and this and that and whatever, and I just swipe, 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 <laughs> you know, when, once I see they're not Christian, swipe, 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 and someone said to me that, um, um, but what if you're the one who God is going to use to actually lead that person to know Christ. And I, I struggled with that. Um, I was like, hang on. And then they said to me, don't forget that at one point you were not a Christian yourself and somebody led you to Christ. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, so I was thinking, am I doing wrong, not even having a conversation or just even finding out about this person? I don't know what you guys think, you know, because for me as a Christian, my expectation is I just want to meet someone who believes the way I believe, who loves God the way I love God, who trusts God the way I trust God. And and, and I say you, I say this now because I have been in a position where I have made, when I use the word, you know, mistake, uh, and I, I dated someone who I thought was a Christian, and he, he turned out to be not what I thought he was, you know, and I'm not judging this person, um, because at the end of the day, the Bible says, don't judge, you know, in the past, maybe I, I judged him, but now I'm not in a posi position to judge anybody. Um, I just have to be more careful um, what I do, how I choose, how I go about living my life, and um, that's why for me tonight this topic is just so 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 important that as christians we point the fingers back to ourselves you know you know look within ourselves and say i'm expecting this from the other person you know am i all of these things you know as well um and, and i don't know if you have any comments to add and then i think theodore we haven't had theodore yeah speak. i was just about to say that theodore wants to come on um, yes. um conversation about how much is enough to put on your profile um, i kind of think we kind of going away from the topic with the question but as much as is required because i, I am always conscious of the fact that the people looking at my profile do not know me Mm. So I need to put an, enough information to get someone to know me, if that makes sense. But in case again, it's, it's a case of striking that balance, not giving away too much, but at the same yeah. time, saying something about me. Yeah. Let yeah. the spirit lead. Yeah. So there was a quick question here. Uh, I think. Oh shit. Okay. No. Okay. Just can yeah. Theod can Theod Theodore go first, and then. Somebody else, yeah. Theodore, sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I don't mind waiting. <laughs> no, you can speak now. <laughs> sorry to have kept you waiting. It's all right. Um, first of all, I want to bring up uh, Devin brought up a, a great verse. Mm. Uh, that was actually one of my favorite verses. Um, and uh, Michael, love love the way that you were uh, talking about not judging people um, and stuff like that. Uh, I personally was judged when I was younger. I was overweight, almost to the point of diabetic. So I understand what it's like. It ain't easy going through something like that. Many years I've struggled with it. And I still struggle with it. And thanks to a good friend of mine who sadly passed away, um, I was able to lose all that weight. And if you're wondering which one I am in the photo, it's the one on the very left near the uh, baby carrier is that the one with the brown <laughs> is that the brown are you wearing brown bottoms yes <laughs> okay okay 
it's a small picture, but I can make you out. Uh, but mm -hmm. I just want to say before you go on, please, everyone who's listening to this, I just want you, I, I just wanted to say, give a big round of applause. But the thing is, I want to hear you guys clapping. But if, you, if you're going to use emojis or whatever in the chat mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. please just commend Theodore for the fantastic work he's doing mm -hmm. um, in his life, you know. And Theodore, we just thank God for your life. And we just pray that you just continue in God's strength to just achieve all of the things you want to achieve going forward in your life. So guys, please give him a big round of applause, whatever it is, mm -hmm. love hearts, you know, whatever it is, emojis you can use to just encourage Theodore. Thank you. Go on, go ahead. Theodore. Also, um, one more thing. Um, a lot of people keep mentioning this uh, in my life that I'm not very kind to them, which is not true at all. <laughs> I'm a very kind and open person, sometimes a little too honest. And because of that, I have a hard time trusting people because I don't know who it is that I am talking to per se. Mm. And I struggle with trust issues. And because of my past um, with my biological father being abusive, it doesn't help. And God saved my life that day. And ever since that time, that day, I've been looking to God, trying to find answers, trying to find you know, what I'm going to do. And I'm still trying to figure it out. And this is my first time being here, so <laughs> I'm wow. still trying to understand everything. Welcome, 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 welcome to this platform, Theodore. Um, I don't know if you heard me say it before here, we don't come to judge anybody. We just come here to learn, share and encourage each other. And within this body you see here of believers, we don't claim to have all of the answers, but I'm sure within this body of believers, there are people here who may have some answers to your questions or words of encouragement for you. So I say welcome to this platform. Thank you so much for coming here today. I'm sure people listening to you have been encouraged by what you have shared mm -hmm. as well. I'll encourage you to just keep coming back as often as you can. And not just the SALT platform, there are other, um, other events that take place on, on the SALT, uh, on the table uh, platform. Please just come and just fill yourself up, honestly. Even I hosting this, this, this event, sorry if I'm going off, you know, the, the, the topic for tonight. Even I who's hosting this, you know, I, I have struggled with things in my life as well. But so me hosting this event i'm not coming here as somebody who's got it all sorted out i come here to learn as well i thank god i'm not who i used to be before i thank god for the holy spirit working in and through me as as well as all of you here we all have testimonies of the trials we've been through in life and you know the awesome things that god is doing in our lives going forward so thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you so much for actually being vul vulnerable enough to sh actually mm -hmm. share your heart thank you so much for anyone who's just joining uh welcome to this say it loud event um we come here to just share views on different topics uh concerning singles and how we can just improve our lives better our lives or most especially um in our journey as we wait to meet a significant order i'm not sure where that sound is coming from um yes but please you know feel free to come on stage to speak we only come on here for an hour every wednesday 8 30 p.m british standard time um the topic for tonight nj is it is um uh, my my expectation. Sorry, I was, I was in distractions with the chat box. Uh, am I my expectation? That's the topic for tonight. And yes, um, Theodore, just have a look in the chat. Lots of I hope you draw strength from the encouragement, the love, and and all the words that's been expressed. I hope that pulls some positive energy towards you. 
And you're encouraged. Thank you so much. Even I feel I feel kind of emotional. I'm so yeah. Excited. I me too. <laughs> me too. I'll be I'll be honest with you. I I just almost I I, I want to say this that you know when we come on here, you know Angie and myself before you guys come on, we actually do pray and we just mm-hmm. tell the Holy Spirit, just Holy Spirit, just come and take absolute control. Okay. None of us, but all of you. And honestly, if we start a topic. And the Holy Spirit decides he wants us to encourage somebody else. Then guess what? We're going to have to drop everything. And Theodore, if this conversation tonight was for us to just come and just surround our our brother, a a fellow believer in Christ, and and just hold his hands and just let him know that God is with him, then, hey, that's exactly what we're going to do, you know. So um, what's that scripture that talks about your expectation will not be cut um, short? Can anyone... Yes, I was thinking about that before yes. we came on. Yes, if anyone can just put that in the chat because um, I'm getting a bit emotional right now myself. Do you mind, um, do you mind if I just jump in? Yes, please do. Yeah, sorry. It's just um, Theodore, I just um, I feel like you've got loads of gifts. Um, many you're aware of, many you're not aware of, and they're like little diamonds mm. in the the base of your stomach. And I don't know why they're there, but I think God wants you to like, they're like actual diamonds, actual like shiny, beautiful diamonds that God has blessed you with. And he wants mm. you to use those gifts um, for his glory and for your good. Mm. Wow, 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 Dan. I've got wow. chills. I've got, I've just, I've just wow. got chills all over my body right now, you know. And you oh. know why I'm saying I've got chills? Because normally would bring people on stage and then we'll sort of like take them down but I just felt, heard the Holy Spirit say no everyone who's come on stage just leave them there and mm. I've just left you guys there so Dan thank you so much for doing what you just did and I hope Theodore is deeply encouraged and I hope you run with what you, that prophetic word you've just heard I, I believe it, it it's a prophecy you've, you've given to him um so please run with it you know so anybody else who wants to share something let's share i'm just conscious of the time it's always so sad when you look at the time and it's like three minutes to go <laughs> guys please leave some feedback you know start typing your feedback now and the only reason we ask you to leave feedback is we need to feedback to the to the salt team you know to let them know this is a brand new um app so we are constantly looking for ways to improve uh what we do and uh we'd like to hear from you what you like what you don't like hopefully you like everything you see and hear and uh, what you would like us to do more Um, I know a lot of people have talked about the time and they are working on it. As you know, with everything you start off with, we have to sort of like grow. So we are growing um, and whatever feedback you give, we'll take back to the SALT team. Um, Please, please, please start to leave your feedback as we count down to uh, almost finish time. Theodore, Theodore, is there something you want to say, mate? Uh, Yeah, I wanted to say thank you, first of all. And um, two... I don't know if you noticed, but the picture has my entire family, basically. So I'm very family oriented. So that's one other thing people look at. And then they assume that I'm too family oriented. And I've tried to go out with dates with other people and stuff like that. And it's never worked out because of my trust issues and being family focused. It has not been easy. I've been looking for several years and trying to find someone who could actually understand what I'm going through. It hasn't been easy. So you, you've got you've got at least one brother here that understands you. So that's one, and I'm sure there's many more brothers and sisters that are here. You've got that a sister here you. as well. I got my hands up too. I got my hands up, Theo. And okay. here, and here, we've got you. We've got you, Theo. I will be praying for oh. you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Me too. Um, I don't know if anybody else on the stage wants no. to share anything. Carla, em- em- Emily. Sorry, if you heard uh, growling, it's because uh, I have two dogs here that won't shut up. 
<laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't hear them. <laughs> we didn't hear oh, them. trust me, they're very loud when they want to be. We didn't hear them. Um, but that's fine. Thank you so much for sharing tonight, Theodore. Uh, you've really blessed us just sharing your heart, and thank you so much. Um, as we, I've can... actually needed this, so <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a good thing for me. Good, good, good. Um, NJ, is there anybody else with a comment or anything? Just lots wanna... of love, lots of love, energy going towards yeah. Theodore tonight. Yeah. And yeah, the chat. Just for you. Thank everyone. It's just such a beautiful vibe when something this it's not random because the holy remember we like like Shola said we pray before we come on and we always ask the holy spirit to just take charge of everything that's going to happen and the holy spirit just tonight just you know just just me just messed me up and that in a good way and yeah me too love in the group is just wonderful thank you everyone oh, and your daughter just so much love coming your way i hope you receive all of that yeah. and you hold on to that in your healing journey with the Lord. The Lord has good plans for you. God loves you. God has beautiful, beautiful plans for your future. Hold on to him. Amen, Amen. to that. Yeah. Amen to that. Uh, thank you so much, NJ. Just looking at the time, it's actually a 9.30 now. Uh, we usually have probably about five, ten minutes or so to just round up. Um, I'll just share very quickly. Please don't disappear in a minute. Uh, uh, quickly, I meant to say the next topic um, coming up uh, next week, Wednesday, is 10 reasons why I am a good catch. So I thought, you know what, let's do something fun. <laughs> but obviously, you know, putting everything into right, the right perspective, let's do something fun. 10 reasons why I'm a good catch. You don't want to miss this one. Trust me. I'm going to put on my creative thinking cap on. Yes. And uh, let's come together. Let's have fun and let's make some love connections. Okay. Don't get all Christianese on me now. Mm. We're all on a single dating app, right? Come on. Let's, let's just come, just come with an open mind. Just come and see what the Holy Spirit will do again. Okay, guys, I've got two hands up. Can I just say before I bring you guys up, please be aware that we just have a few minutes to go. So you only have maybe 30 seconds to to speak <laughs> okay so i'm going to bring queen b and daryl up and please 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 you just have very a short time to speak go on queen b okay thank you good evening everyone um i was rushing to get home so that i could speak um awesome. this, this message is for theo sorry about the background noise um theodore did i pronounce it properly i think you don't know what you've done tonight you've actually it gets better from now on it gets better i just want to applaud you i want to praise you to say well done well done for taking that huge step i know what it is like a lot of people are where you are and they still cannot speak up and you did you took that that's it you've done it now you've done it so it gets better it gets better don't stop just keep speaking your mind keep saying the things on your mind and god loves you so much thank you are you on the mic Thank you, Queen Bee. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming up to encourage Theodore. Daryl, can you unmute yourself and just share very quickly? Thank you. Daryl, in the red car. Daryl, if you click on the three dots, unmute yourself and we can hear from you. Okay, I don't think... We've got Daryl there. NJ, do you want to say, do you have any closing remarks? Um, I, I don't know. I just I, I just have this chill all over me. I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, no. I don't um, have any closing remarks. I just please urge to just say a quick prayer for, for Theodore and for everyone who is in a similar situation or who is navigating a really, really difficult life history or past or, or even a present. Sometimes they're not able to share like Theodore. That was such a brave move on your part. Mm -hmm. Some people are not in a place where they can even vocalize or understand what's going on. We just pray for the for Jesus, for, for the Holy Spirit to, to come by your side as a counselor as a teacher as a guide as a helper to help you and for you to feel the love of the father and to know that it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter how you feel it doesn't matter how you feel the world the world feels about you it doesn't matter what we've gone through god is for you 
God is for us. His love is just unmeasurable, unquantifiable. It's just like crazy, crazy love. That's that's a prayer for everyone tonight. Amen. 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 Amen.